Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Smart Wars application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. IPTV Smart Wars Pro is one of the best IPTV players that you could use on your TV device. They support both MVU playlists as well as Axiom codes, which are two most popular ways to watch IPTV online. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how you can get this amazing app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Unloader. And as you can see, the Unloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the Unloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to set up the Unloader, we gotta go to settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options here, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About. Select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if we go back a bit, we will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to turn on the 8 bit debugging. After that, you'll have to go to installation of unknown files. From here, you'll have to find the downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we'll have to go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally let's use the loader safely. So we're gonna go to the list of apps on your device, then to the loader, open it and of course wait until the app loads for you. After that on the left side menu make sure to click on home and not on browser. So once again make sure that you have clicked on home and then here in that search bar we'll need to enter a code. And the link should be iptvsmarters.com, so let's enter it together. Once again, it's IPTV Smarters. Dot com. So here it is, here's the link, you can see it on your screen right now, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the IPTV Smarters website is not going to open for you. After that, we have to click on Go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. 
as well as please hit the like button below this video. It surely helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has loaded, we'll have to scroll down. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, yep. So we need to keep scrolling until we find that direct download APK button. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now we have to click on it and in a couple of moments the download of IPTV Smarters should start for us. Yes, yeah, so a new web page opened. Now just go down a bit and wait for a couple of seconds until the download starts. And if it doesn't start loading, then just click on that little button. Yeah. And as you can see, the download process has started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I have a pretty decent connection, so it shouldn't take more than like 10 seconds or so. Then just click on install and wait until IPTV Smarters Pro gets installed to your Fire Stick. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, open it, and here at the bottom you'll find iptvsmarters.com. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then finally, let's open the IPTV Smarters. Here you'll need to select the device type, which is TV in our case, since we are using a Fire Stick. After that, just accept the license agreement. And from here, there are two main ways to use the IPTV Smarters Pro application. One is by using the M4U links. That is so you would need to click on that button. That's the most popular way to use the IPTV services on your TVs or any other device. Here just allow access and from here you need to add any name to your playlist and then either upload your playlist as a file or select the MPU URL button and then enter it here as a link. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world so it's totally up to you which one to use. I will not recommend any specific live TV providers in this video. Alternatively, you can also use extreme codes in this application. To do so, you would need to click on that button. From here, just like previously, add any name, and then you need to get a username, a password, and the link from your service provider to add right here. After that, you click on Add Playlist, and then the playlist is going to appear in the list of your playlists on the IPTV Smarters applications. To access the playlist, you would need to click on List of Playlists button, and they are going to appear right here. So today you learned how to get the IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick device. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.